but the tea is, is that this is the, going to be the bougiest thing that I have ever done in my life. That means I'm VIP, so they can't tell me what to do. Hmm. They can't tell me nothing. Hey, hey, hey. It is time to get ready for an adventure. So I need to pack. So we're going to pack together. We're going to do carry on only style packing for this travel video. I honestly can't even believe that I'm doing this. So let's get these bags together. Uh, yeah, this is actually kind of last minute for me. By last minute, I mean today is Thursday. I just laid out some items that I want to take and I fly out at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm gonna get my life together. You already know that I got my handy dandy packing list. It will be linked below. I cannot pack without this list now. Like with this list, I'm guaranteed to pack everything that I need. And like I said, I'm packing like, oh, I gotta give you the tea, girl. I know the black girls have this struggle because hairstylists have been like going crazy with their setup, their policies and all that lately. Where there is this black hairstylist that I've been following for a while on Instagram and she has some pretty intense policies as well, but she knows her ish when it comes to hair, especially natural hair. And since my hairstylist here at home gave me like a bunch of heat damage, I said, screw her. So I'm about to try this new hairstylist. But the tea is, is that she lives in Florida. So I am flying out to Florida to get my hair done. This is legit the bougiest thing that I have ever done in my life. So I bought a prepaid like subscription package. So I bought a package of four since I've never tried her before. And I have to do all four hair appointments in a calendar year. So my first hair appointment is tomorrow. And then my second hair appointment is in March. And then she opens up her books for her subscribers. And then I'll book um, my first third appointment and then when she opens them up again during like quarter four of the year then I'll book my last appointment y'all I'm so excited to get in her chair hopefully she doesn't have to give me a bob I don't think so because I just got my hair straightened and trimmed in March 2023 and I am not afraid of the scissors when it comes to um, trimming and dusting my own hair so hopefully I'll be good but let's get ready to pack for this bougie experience <laughs> I do not pack without my packing cubes, but since I'm lightly packing, I really don't need too many. And plus, um, because I'm going to my mom's, I don't need like a bunch of fancy clothes. This time we're gonna, you know, hang out and do some things, but still don't need to pack a lot. This is what the packing list looks like. It's organized, so there's clothes and accessories all over here toiletries miscellaneous and then carry on it's not even double-sided and it legit covers everything that you need to pack so you'll see like undergarments socks and then you get all the way down here it even has like maps and directions guidebook camera with memory card passport like it covers everything your basics plus extra I don't know if anybody has done this, but I incorporate aloe vera into my skincare. I do it after my toner. So I decanted some of that. And I would usually decant some of this toner, but I have this witch hazel that is the perfect size. So I'm just gonna use that so I don't have to decant it but I will be decanting some of my face wash. You taking this one as well, and I already have a lotion at my mom's house that I keep there. I go between three different um, facial cleansers within a week. Like I will use one depending on what my skin needs. So this one is my moisturizing facial cleanser. This one, it's for acne. And then my other one that I have is the Trader Joe's 
tea tree and that's this one i swear by this i usually use this one at the end of the day when my skin has oil on it because it has the tea tree in it and this is my new edition it is a oil control one i really like this one it seems like it's moisturizing plus it also controls your oil so anything that's like oil controlling um i use depending upon like what my skin needs at the time and if I just um, like exfoliated my skin, that's when I would use something a little bit more moisturizing like this. My moisturizer is the absolute best and it's already travel size. So I will be taking this. I am going to take my retinol just in case my um, skin tries to flare up a little bit. But I will be taking this um, niacinamide plus zinc since it's like an oil control and I'll be in Florida. So I pack my skincare based off of where I'm going as well. If I were going somewhere um, and it's like cold outside, then I would just take my hyaluronic acid. And then I bought this and I had it stored in like my surplus. And I'm going to have to tell y'all. I do like this. I usually use black girl sunscreen, but this has a nice like matte type of finish. It reminds me of primer. I really like this. So I'm going to keep this in stock on top of my black girl sunscreen. All right, let's look at everything we got so far. First, I want to call out these hand sanitizer wipes. I like the idea of hand sanitizer wipes for travel, especially when the airport has a shuttle and you got to hold on to the rails. Sometimes you want to actually wipe your hands off. I get these from Whole Foods. So we got all of the skincare stuff, keeping it simple with the jewelry. I have already packed up my supplements. I love this case. This is what the case looks like. And I loaded up my supplements last night. So they're already organized. And this case is perfect because it has morning and night. So I have these meal prep containers because I usually fly back with food. I don't play that, especially since I'm flying back on a work day and I plan on going to work the next day. I'm going to need to have me some meals already prepped and ready. Over here, I have my outfits. I try to keep things where I don't need a singular pair of shoes for a single outfit. So these sneakers will be worn for both of these outfits. And then this pair of shoes will be worn with this outfit. And then I'm going to take one pair of like fitness shoes and I'll just wear that on my flight. Over here, I got a book for my flight just in case I can't fall asleep and then to read while I'm there. I got my eyeglasses because I actually did not take my eyeglasses last time. So I had to like keep my contacts in until like I really went to sleep. This has all of my bobby pins and hair ties. Usually I don't got to pack none of this since I'm a natural headed girl. I got two scarves and I got a wrap because we're going to be outside in Florida and it's supposed to rain. I got some snacks for while I'm there, although my mom is going to have snacks in my room anyway. And then an umbrella because I am getting my hair straightened tomorrow, okay? And then I can't go nowhere without my airport blankie. And I love this airport blankie because it has the handle on it. Now let's load this stuff up in these cubes. Now this is the fun part. This is where you load everything up in your packing cubes and you organize it by like what makes sense to you. So I typically keep all of my like going out outfits, I mean going out outfits in one cube so that I can easily find it and unpack it because I am an unpacker. I do not play that no matter where I go, I'm unpacking. So I got my outfits in here and then I'm going to go ahead and put my um, like exercise clothes in here as well. Now granted, because I'm going to get my hair done, I will not be running. So I'm not going to be able to run for like a week. That's why I don't get my hair straightened, but once a year. Um, but I will be walking outside because I do like a good walk. And I will go ahead and put my underwear in a cube off camera because y'all don't need to see all up in my business. Okay. This is what it's looking like so far. So all of my clothes are in here. And then I got like undergarments, pajamas, socks, snacks, like everything that's not a liquid is in here as well. I want to inform you all that I have just been informed by my mother 
that I need to pack a medium sized luggage, but I still packed as if I was only going to pack a carry on because she was like, make sure you got enough space in your luggage, which means that she bought me some stuff. I don't like waiting on my luggage anymore. I think because the last like three times that I've flown, I've been a carry on only girl. And it's just something about being able to go right to security, not having to check in and drop off your baggage. And then when you land, not having to wait for your baggage. When I come back on Tuesday, I am landing at night. So now I'm gonna have to wait for my baggage. I'm gonna get on the shuttle to go get my car. It's just a lot of steps. I prefer to land and scram, land and scram, okay? But my mother um, will not allow me to do that this go around. So I will be checking a bag, unfortunately. Next time in March, I'm not checking a bag. She's just gonna have to ship whatever she got here. <laughs> All right, let me finish up. Your liquids just need to fit in a quart size bag. It don't got to be clear. And I just keep this in um, my little open type of travel bag so that if they feel like they need to search it, they can search it. I don't put this in my zip up like suitcase carry on. I keep it in like a little tote bag. So you could have more than one of these. I've seen plenty of people travel with more than one of these and they will not stop you, girl. But people don't care. Plus, I got TSA pre-check, so that means I'm VIP. So they can't tell me what to do. Hmm. They can't tell me nothing. Girl, this this all I got right here. This it. I was about to text her and be like, um, you sure? But she just replied back and said, if carry on only, will you have a back will you have a backpack as well? Baby, this is this is what I always come with, plus my carry-on luggage. I like it because it's open, you know what I mean? So if something twirler, that, that ain't no problem. So I'm good. We can stick with carry-on only, and we could just roll out. the rest in here so I'm gonna go ahead and load this up this blanket she probably gonna say I should have packed the medium luggage but just really not in the mood y'all I can't even lie I just can't even lie but this is it and it's not even full now granted I still got to put my laptop in here but we just gonna figure something out even if, no. Oh yeah, 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 I should be good. Girl, we gonna, we gonna figure something out. What messed me up was packing sneakers. Okay, slight switch up. The goal is to be efficient and not perfect. So I'm showing y'all the real deal of how I'm packing carry-on only. I took out that pair of sneakers. I'm just going to take my um, workout shoes that kind of match with any and everything. And then I moved the like hair stuff and scarves in here. And then I moved my bobby pin little container over here. So that'll give me more space for whatever my mom wants me to bring back. And plus I still got what's in here.
just in case I'm forced to check my bag for whatever reason. I still have my air tag in here. I keep my air tag in a little leather esque type of thing like this that clips on. We learned when I say we, I mean me and Bay learned to clip it on the net because one of his went missing when he just had it in here, i.e., dumb people went in it and then didn't add it back in. I don't think they stole it on purpose. I don't think. But anywho, that's it. Okay, y'all, that officially concludes this video. I still have a bunch of stuff to do. You know, again, hairstyles be having a rule, so I'm gonna have to take out these twists tonight so that she could just get started on my hair. I um, have started back going to Bible study fellowship. So I need to try to crash and do my Bible study homework so I can make it to my first class tonight because I haven't been able to go to Bible study fellowship since 2020, haven't been able to, i.e. I haven't gone. Um, and I really don't want to miss the class. So I'm going to do that homework now. I need to get a YouTube um, video ready so that it could go live tonight. And then when I come back from Bible study at like close to nine o'clock, then I'll have to undo my hair. Baby, when I tell you this week has been insane, it has been insane. Anywho, that is all that I have for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. I'm going to do carry only, only, carry only carry on only style packing who since i'm doing carry only style why do i keep messing that up